We've got to start this over for the listening audience now. What are we talking about here? I don't know. Where well, we I was born. Oh! <laughs> Let's do that. I want to hear about Dad being Happy born. He was talking too. about that. No, he wasn't. He born. was too. He said I was born before I almost drowned. That's right. <laughs> he said he did say that, didn't you, Dad? I told I you think, to get this before he had his. I event. think you do have the correct order well. of events. <laughs> <laughs> I was born on. Goodrich Avenue in St. Paul. I don't remember the address, but I know that at that time the house was owned by a fellow named Goodrich. Oh, the Goodrich for whom the street was named? Yes. And it was on Goodrich Avenue. And Goodrich and my father built houses next to each other on Linwood. And Frank Birch came along a little bit after that and joined them and built his house next to, on the other side, uh, ne next to doctor. the Goodrich house. And Frank Birch was an eye doctor. Eye, ear, nose, and throat. He took my tonsils out with ether. Ether? Took, yeah, in my, uh, in, in, in 740, then we didn't do that in the hospital. You took your tonsils out mm -hmm. at home? Yep. Good God, you're not here. George, Clarence, Clark, and Clara <laughs> Louise got the tonsils out one, two, three, four, just like that. You mean all four? All four. Good God. What's, What's the matter mean? with that? Well, it just why sounds a little strange. Why did you take the girls' tonsils out? Why did you only uh, what? describe? Why did you? Why didn't they take the girls' tonsils out? This to me is uh, well. Sexist. I tell you why. She hadn't been born yet. Oh. <laughs> Clara, we <laughs> She did have her tonsils out. Oh, so she, and she had, came up. Oh, lucky. She came up bawling like hell. Oh. My father came up and said, "Well, she isn't awake yet. She doesn't know what's going on. Don't let this upset you." That was just fine. But I went down there, and I remember they put this cone over my mouth, and they apparently poured ether on it, and all I could see was a big fireball. It was coming to me it's just orange. like this. That's just how it is just like this. Just like this. I could hear it going cinema. like that. Maybe that's why the you fireball. Have, maybe that's why you have claustrophobia. That's why. These are the publications of the Department of Surgery while I was at Downstate. And all of these are medical books. So you were there from starting in 51? 51 to 72. To 72. Mm -hmm. And then from there you went Point to the federal government, right? Yeah, I went down to the National Institutes of Health. And they uh, set up the heart. The heart, inst the heart Institute had been set up just before I went down there. And I went down there uh, to be in charge of the Artificial Heart Program. Oh. Development. And that was in Washington, D.C.? No, it's in Bethesda. It was in Bethesda, okay. Mm -hmm. And that, But you didn't stay there very long. I stayed there two years and nine months. And then after that, where, where did you go? Yeah, I went to Stony Brook. That was Stony Brook right then, okay. So there was only one place in between Downstate and Stony Brook. That's right. Okay. I wasn't sure about that. No. Okay. But uh, I'd set all this money aside, and we uh, invested it with Mars and Power, and we did well enough so that it was possible to set up this professorship at Downstate. The state of New York is uh, uh, finally realizing that the uh, sources of money are not inexhaustible. And uh, they're talking about retrenching on the number of medical schools that they support. So that for a time, it looked as though Downstate might not survive. Oh, at all? Yeah. Oh, no. And, uh, but it seems to have squeaked through. But uh, I, 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 I told them that, uh, that we'd set up this, Mary and I would set up this professorship uh, if uh, they could produce uh, some additional support to keep it uh, keep it floating, mm 